the truth about St. Lawrence High School, it's a dangerous place. Uh, most students were ignorant, uh, blindly racist, especially the mindless Irish, which is, makes up the majority of the school. These people, other than uh, the cover-up they did for this priest and other priests, which seems to be an intentional cover-up, uh, they in their advertising for the priest that I dealt with, they showed him a year after what happened to me. So they were already fading out that this stuff had happened to me or the year that it happened to me. They didn't include that. Um, other, other than that, they had a couple people come in my class. You know, they, they forced people on me. They started the name changing when I was a junior. I, beginning of my junior year so that I'd be ready uh, my senior year to like accept somebody who I shouldn't have accepted not to mention this person was brought to my town you know by by other people uh, and then they try to force this person on me you know for a long time um, St. Lawrence knowingly does things and did things behind the scene to damage my life or get involved with the fucking cult mind state of the Catholic Church so they could have their little uh, participation trophy, I guess would be the politically correct way to call it. At St. Lawrence High School, most people couldn't talk. Now I look at where some students were allowed to have an outburst here or there. Um, it appears probably that the the fucking school or the church allowed that stuff to happen just to bring some excitement to the classroom. When if somebody, if other people would do this, you know, they, they wouldn't get away or, you know, there'd be no chance in hell that they get away with it. St. Lawrence, the Catholic Church, the police, the fire department, I guess Knights of Columbus, and they'll say Freemasons, but all these people and groups endanger uh, young people and people who are not members of those organizations. Um, and you know, going to a Catholic school or the Catholic church just leaves you open to abuse by other cults. So it's, uh, you know, and, and with St. Lawrence now, they're going to use these fucking students to, to be hackers or something, you know, for tech, because they what took the technology route because nobody wants to go to the fucking sports at that school. And you could tell right away the fucking coaches didn't know what the fuck they were doing. It was easy to walk away. It was easy not to be involved at that fucking school. I lived where the walkathon was. I knew everything about the fucking area, but these people don't want to fucking listen. They believe some some silent wind towards towards the fucking viaduct, <laughs> you know, is is calling them to an old ancient ruin where the bones of the German people and Native Americans have piled up for centuries. Fuck the Catholic Church. Fuck St. Lawrence. Fuck that Daisy Jimenez prostitute and the people who brought her in there. Fuck the lawyers who were trying to set me up to talk about St. Lawrence when I was unprotected, when they acted like I was amongst friends, but these were all uh, communists and cult members. Fuck Lamont. It's a dirty fucking hillbilly town. Fuck the Catholic Church. Fuck St. Lawrence High School. Fuck the students at St. Lawrence High School who were, you know, I could tell, you know, they were saying names of prostitutes, you know, early on when I was there that I ran into later in life, literally. So they're either, either trying to set it up there or it was a fucking demon working through these fucks. Uh, I, I would say it's both. But uh, no, you can't depend on the Catholic Church or St. Lawrence unless you totally bow to them. And to totally bow to them means uh, you're, you'll ruin your life. So fuck the Catholic Church, fuck Freemasons, fuck the police, fuck the fire department. Yes, you want me to say bikers, bikers, bikers like any gang or these, these idiots who love the mafia movies. Oh my God, that reminds me, man. These fuckers, I was done worrying about fucking gangs out of high school. These people, including some of these women, were still worried about fucking mafia and, and old mob, old old small time mob stories when they're fucking, you know, in their 60s and 70s. Some of these people are still worried about shit like that. So it tells you the mind state. That, that's a fucking whore right there who's worried about that shit.